Hello and welcome back to Alkali Creek Art. This is Miranda and we're going to be going through the last 10 days of Inktober. So it was quite a challenge for me because we had races. So that took three days here, two days there. I was four days in jury duty selection. We had appointments with my family members that I had to be at. So I was two days late in finishing, but I Really happy that I finished, and this was a really fun year. So here are the last 10 days. This is prompt for ghosts, and it didn't quite turn out how I thought it would, but it's okay. So this is a light gray Copic marker for the coloring on this one, and then the brush mark marker with a little bit of the gray alcohol marker for that bump uh, grill. So I had someone on Facebook comment that it looks like this one's kind of looking away and this one's kind of smirking at it, so I thought that was kind of cool. Day 23, Ancient. This is one of the first pickups that Ford made, and I just really liked this one. It had a lot of character, and so I drew it, and I like it. Dizzy. So I found a cool reference photo of a pickup I liked and then I skewed it in Photoshop and then drew it down here and then I forgot to put a person in it and if it's moving then it needs a person in it. So I had to kind of add in with some white gel pen at least a hint of a person and I don't like it. This is like one of my le less detailed drawings but I like the skewing part of it. I think that was kind of a fun artistic thing to do. Alright, day 25 was tasty and instead of doing the usual gelato or ice cream truck, I did bacon because bacon is really tasty, right? Yeah, even that is a bacon, so I thought that was fun. Alright, everyone seemed to like this one on the postings. This is dark and now some of the words are a challenge to do with the truck theme, but I used the ink. This one again, same as last week, and a brush, and watered it down. And if you guys have ever worked with ink in this way, you probably know that it's really hard to work with ink in kind of a washy kind of way. It just does its own thing. So let me try a different lighting on this one. It's probably fine the way it is, but leave it. Okay, so I like the way it turned out. Um, I think it's real pretty. It reminds me of a, an oil painting I did back when I was a teenager. It was an old truck and it reflected down in the, it was like on a glass floor. I'll try and show that at some point, but not in this video. Day 27 was coat and I don't know, I really liked the truck complete. So I know if this guy was painting, this truck for real, he'd have the wheels covered, the door handles would probably be off, you know, the windows would be covered and so on, but I just liked the truck and I wanted to show the whole truck. And so, you know, maybe he's doing top coat or wax or something. So we're, we're going with that, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So this was Ride. And if you saw this post on Instagram, my Instagram is also Alkali Creek Art. I didn't have color on the kids, and one of our friends suggested, oh, a little color on this one, it'd be pretty awesome, and so I'm like, yeah, you know, that's a really good idea. The kids really blended into the background without the color, and so I grabbed my Copics, because they're alcohol ink, yeah, we talked about this, so put some color on them, and I think that helped, because, you know, this is a really small space, and their faces were kind of awkward, and I liked the way it turned out. Um, we won't talk about that tire, but I have a video about that next year. <laughs> okay, moving on. Day 29, injured. Poor truck. It's all wrecked. So it's injured, and I had trouble with this because in the video it was all just solid, or the video, <laughs> the reference photo was just kind of solid black in there, but the style I was doing on this I didn't want all black in there because then I would have had to bring more solid black in other parts of the drawing and I didn't want that so I just kind of hatched in there and it's a little awkward I think but 
it's okay. And I like it. I like the way it turned out. Day 30 was catch. You know, once in a while when I'm searching for good reference photos of these trucks and the word, I will see silhouettes. And I did a lot of silhouettes in last year's Inktober, and I really like them because you just have to get the outline of the thing kind of right, and you fill it in so it's pretty fast to do this and considering I was behind at one point I was like six days behind trying to do three drawings a day when I got back from a, a three-day motorcycle trip so yeah that happened too this month by the way and so anyway I like it because it's fast and I think silhouettes look really cool so here's catch he's he's caught this awesome blazer I mean what a catch right all right last day so sad ripe and I thought about doing a truck selling some fruit but I really liked the trash truck thing because I've done a lot of the other pickups and this and that and so it would have been same old same old but doing this old trash truck I don't know I just loved the picture and so the reference photo I used had of course like the city name on the side and maybe the company name here and so instead I just put day 31 ripe and the Inktober 19 for the company name so I really like this cute little truck but they're so stubby so that wraps up Inktober 2019 hope you guys enjoyed thanks for sticking with me and have a great day